Hi, I'm Joshua Finn from j and Aerospace. Today we're going to build the bifurcation, which is a open penny plane built for the old AMA rules, well there are current AMA rules too, but uh, kind of an older style penny plane. And it's a very simple, straightforward kit to build. This is kind of an introductory type kit in that it doesn't have a rolled tube fuselage or anything like that, so it's not going to be capable of handling the huge amounts of power that a, a rolled tube model would build, and it builds a little bit heavier. But it gives you a fun airplane, something to fly in open penny plane, and are capable of very, very impressive performance under very low ceilings, and also good in, in higher ceilings like West Baden uh, Springs, Indiana, and internationally if you have uh, any, any Cat 3, Cat 2 sites even. Uh, very nice plane capable of climbing to those heights. So let's get started with the build by looking inside our kit at what it contains. So carefully remove your kit from the bag. Inside uh, you're going to have some drawings and whatnot. Um, this kit is not really designed to be built from plans. Uh, so some of that information is going to be kind of sparse uh, simply because the, the spars and whatnot are a little bit difficult to reproduce. So we don't really even bother with including those details. Um, you're going to have some thin uh, 1 32nd sheet for your propeller blades. You're going to have two more pieces of 1 32nd balls. So these are going to be for your uh, propeller uh, forming block. Um, also, these are going to be the ends for the forming block. You'll have your dihedral gauges as well. Um, a set of wing ribs, also 132nd balsa. Uh, these are your wing and tail spars. Uh, your tail boom is also on this sheet. Uh, wing posts, propeller spar, all of that. This is a propeller pitch gauge for forming your propeller accurately. Um, well, attaching the propeller blades accurately, I should say. Uh, motor stick. And then you're going to have uh, four of these one-fourth sticks, you're going to have some short ones, you're going to have some long ones. Uh, these should be roughly 16 inches long, and these should be roughly 20 inches long. Block of clay for balancing, uh, some rubber, Let's set that aside. Uh, you're going to have a um, piece of um, mylar covering material. Inside your parts bag, you're going to keep track of what's in here. So this is a piece of O20 wire. Um, you're going to have some, I can get it out of here, the tape's stuck in there. This is some spider wire for binding uh, the rear hook and the uh, nose bearing in place. Um, be careful, there's some real small parts here. So like this is a piece of Teflon tubing. Just want to keep that in our hands. Uh, that's for uh, propeller washers. This is an aluminum uh, nose bearing. Um, this kind of orangey stuff, this is uh, polyamide tubing for mounting your wing. Uh, this kind of translucent material. This is uh, o-ring material. And then the last thing is this is your propeller shaft. Do not lose this because this is a precision form PEC polymers uh, reverse S-hook. Um, these were made at our request by PEC polymers. So we'll slide all of that back in there because you don't want to lose any of those. those so what we are going to start with is we're going to build our uh, jigs for assembling our propeller uh, because we need those uh, before we can uh, really proceed into the build. So we're going to go ahead and pop this part out. These are kind of the common uh, penny plane size pitch gauges that are included in most of our kits. Um, have to break a few of the tabs out. Uh, razor blade just make them come out a little easier. Let's throw that carrier sheet over there. A uh, big thing to pay attention to is make sure that you assemble this correctly. So I'm going to set this guy like so. This piece uh, goes over here on this side with the little cutout notches over here. So you can see it just fits in like so. Just 
hopefully this bottle of CA will cooperate for me. So we'll put that on. Next, this piece right here goes on this side. And the big thing is remember your orientation and whatnot. So you don't want this piece over like that or you're in a, a bit of a pickle uh, because we want a standard rotation propeller. Now we're going to take these little pieces, and they notch in like so. If you have built one of our um, penny plane A6, uh, even last year's Science Olympiad kit before, uh, you'll recognize this uh, this pitch gauge. Uh, we kind of scale them up and down a little bit um, for whichever airplane, but uh, this is a uh, standard component. The main thing is you want these slid all the way in against, uh, so that this notch right here is all the way in. And there you go. Next we'll make the propeller forming block. This is even easier. Excuse the commentary in the background, I can't shut it off. these pieces what we're going to do is we're going to glue them just flat down like that. Now notice I'm not gluing it all the way at the edge. Um, you can if you want to. I just find it makes it a little easier to assemble this forming block if you don't. Now what we're going to do after this is we're going to take this piece and we're going to curve it over that. And the thing is to remember that since the, these are the same size, it's going to be a little bit left out. So what we'll want to do here is not go all the way to the edges. And now what we can do is just lower this guy on here. Kind of try to square it up a little bit. It does not have to be perfect again. Um, the closer it is, it is, the easier it will be to use. All right, so now that we have our uh, forming block done, we'll set our pitch gauge aside for the time being. Uh, the next thing we need to do is get our propeller blades ready. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pop these out. They should kind of clearly come out after that. Now if you watch the other, uh, our other penny plane that this one's based off of the insensitive, if you um, watch that one you'll see that we show sanding the blades. Um, and if you're willing to sand down your tail spars and do some, some get a little creative, um, get the airplane's total weight down, it does pay to come in and sand the propeller blades on this airplane as well. Um, that being said, I'm not going to do that because um, open penny planes do tend to come out fairly heavy, um, or sorry, somewhat tail heavy, so you, you need a little bit of weight up front. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go get these wet and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we have two propeller blades here that we've uh, soaked in water so they're nice and wet. Um, this will let them form real nice like. And what I'm going to try to do is lay these down on top of each other. Um, just right. That was the oven uh, saying it's up to temperature, so you're going to set your oven for 200 degrees. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what you want to angle these blades forward like that. And so this is roughly a 15 to, uh, 15 to 18 degree angle, something in that range uh, up to 20 degrees. Doesn't have to be real, real precise. You just want this nice curvature right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a paper towel here. Pull 
this around. Hopefully get it fairly tight. And my main concern is these outer edges because they define the uh, primary ends of the, the curvature. tight. I just want to take any slack out of the um, um, paper towel. Now stick this in the oven at 200 degrees, uh, usually about 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour to 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, 200 degrees is about the right temperature for this, and uh, then you can get it out. So next, we're going to go ahead and get set up for our propeller. Let the blades thoroughly dry. And come up real nicely. Plenty of camber there, maybe even a little extra, and that's okay. These will turn nicely. There they go. And again, you can sand the edges and whatnot if you want to. And we'll go ahead and pop this propeller spar out. It's the part that's got this little kind of dot in the middle of it. It's just a stick of wood. Like so. Take your propeller shaft out and go ahead and get that piece of Teflon tubing that's in there. And that's this super, yeah, I don't know if it's going to focus, but this, this super thin plastic tubing. We're going to cut off just a tiny, tiny little piece of it. And then what you want to do is thread the uh, propeller shaft into it. And I don't know if that even shows up. Yeah, you can see it on there. You just slide that way, way down on this. And then put the excess back in here in case you ever need it. Now, on this propeller shaft, or propeller spar, like we said, there's that little notch there. That should be a laser cut that goes all the way through. So you should be able to push this through like that. Now leave, um, we'll go ahead and get the uh, propeller bearing out. Leave enough space for the uh, back of the propeller shaft to clear like that. Okay, go out here slide this back and grab those pliers right there and we're just going to do a 90 degree bend just like that you're going to clip in it you know the excess off so you don't have a huge amount on here so you want to leave about that much on there i don't know how well that shows up um, and now, lay CA on the front, get a tiny little bit on the back, try not to get too much on the shaft itself because you'll have to clean that off.
Now we're going to take our propeller pitch gauge over here and we're going to set this shaft in here. Um, you can slide the um, little washer you've made all the way up top. Um, just make sure that the propeller is uh, not playing part in that. Now I'm running into an issue uh, because of the design of these uh, propeller shafts. Um, that this is rubbing against prop shaft so you can see I'm just cutting a little away right there because I don't want that propeller shaft to touch I'm going to slot this guy all the way in here um, all right, so we're laying this shaft in here like so I'm leaving the washer so it's not touching either of these notches. And now I'm going to take a piece of masking tape, cutting off a little thin strip like this. I'll lay this in here, put my shaft assembly in place. Come on, you go in there. this to wiggle around too much and it can turn all the way around which is going to be important when you switch uh, blades. So take one of these blades and we're going to go ahead and we're going to test fit it to make sure everything slots into it correctly. And if you notice this blade doesn't come all the way up on here and that's okay. You just want to make sure it's in contact here and up here like that. Everything looks good. I'm liking the pitch distribution. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get glue in here and slot in my blade. mates in. Just like that. There's the problem that I was telling you about. If you're not careful, that spark can break off. This is where you see how to fix it, though. Should that happen? Take this loose. There you have a beautiful penny clean propeller. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are JH Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.